Thanks for joining us here at 5. We begin tonight with a tragic story out of Gas City. The search for a 10-year-old girl has come to a tragic end. Police found Skyly Carmack's body around 3 o'clock this morning in a shed behind her home. And that's what we find. Wish TV's Sierra Hignite with the latest on this investigation. Sierra. Mike, police say Skyly's stepmom is responsible for her death. They say it all started after she took her sister's bracelet. Then that's when police say her stepmom strangled her, put her body in a plastic trash bag, and then hid it in a shed behind their house. The street outside of Skyly Carmack's house was quiet on Tuesday as community members laid gifts on a memorial set up in the 10-year-old's honor. There's nothing that that poor little girl could have did to deserve any of this. Police say her stepmom, 34-year-old Amanda Carmack, killed her. Skyly was reported missing on Saturday night by her parents, according to police. The community spent four days searching for her. We went through woods, climbing. I mean, we, we've been everywhere. We walked all over town looking anywhere we could go. People searching say Carmack even thanked them for their efforts. It just makes me sick that she could look me in the eye, hug me, put the, you know, cry as if she's grieving and scared and knowing she knew what happened all along. They say they never thought this would be the outcome. I think we both just still had hope last night, and it was, um, sorry. It was just ripped away from us. People that knew Skyly say she was smart. She loved to read. Growing up when she was younger, she was just always so happy and lively, like so full of life. And then you see pictures of her recently, and you can just tell in her face that she was lifeless. Knowing that her final moments were spent in struggle and pain is too much for her loved ones to bear. It has literally broken my heart, and I, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Because she's she's my baby. I mean, she is my baby. Now all they can do is hope that justice is served after a bright young life was taken much too soon. I wish that I wish that she could have had the people that love her back in her life a little bit more. And I think she'd still be here. Police say there were six other children living in the home, all of which were taken into DCS custody during the rest of the investigation. Live in Gas City, I'm Sierra Hignite, Wish TV News 8. Just a horrific story. All right, Sierra, thank you.